like a thief in the night. I take anything but some pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Like a like. I was about to say the wrong intro. <laughs> Cut. I'm about to slide on your ass. I ain't looking at you, got my eyes on the cast. Baby daddy with me, he don't see class. Look, I could've seen dead flies on your ass. I feel codeine in my team, but I'm a point 89 for the gas. Summertime, he was on the ground with the slab. Overtime. Hey, y'all, and welcome to an entrepreneur's lifestyle. Haven't done one of these in a minute, but don't worry, I got y'all. So, today's video is going to be quick and sweet. I thought about doing a business Q&A because I get a lot of questions about my business, whether it's about the stuff I'm about to drop or my eyewear line that I got going on. So I'm gonna answer some of y'all questions and I'll probably do a part two, most likely. And if I need to do part three, four, five, six, a thousand, I will do it. I'll probably, I'm trying to do like a business Q and A video once a week, depending on how many questions that I get because I have a lot of questions that I need to answer regarding my business that y'all always ask me. And yeah, so we're going to get to it. It's going to be nice and sweet, short and sweet, just like how we like. So before we start this video, don't forget to like, comment, share with your homies, turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I post. Like, And um, if you haven't shopped with me already, Make sure to do that, okay? Everything will be in the description box down below, okay, boo? And without further, bro, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, first question, okay? First question, number one, numero uno. So, first question is, hold on, cut. I need my interviewer in here. Sasha, come on, girl. We about to start. I'm already recording. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold on. Let me go get Sasha. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I didn't know she was recording. Like, girl, why would you not tell me? Sasha, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, I told you this last week that the interview was today. So... Can we get started? The camera is rolling. And my time is money, honey. Girl, you better watch who you're talking to because just because I'm your friend does not mean I have to do this, even though I do need that check to pay my rent next month. But still, I got other people calling me, even though my phone don't ring and don't got service. But still, you know what? We're not going to do this today. You're right. The camera is rolling. I'm so sorry, y'all. We're about to get into the questions, okay? Y'all like my Playboy shades? I know y'all do. Shop in the description box down below, okay? But anyways, first question. Who inspired you? Great question. Great question. Believe it or not, y'all, the person who inspired me is Kylie Jenner. Now, I don't really like saying that because out of the whole Kardashian, Jenner, Card Kardashian, whatever they call themselves, Kylie is my least favorite one. I'm starting to like her now, but at the time, I didn't like her. But she inspired me because she was like 18 when she dropped Kylie Cosmetics, and I was like, bro. I don't have to wait until I get my degree to do something that I want to do. I can literally start right now. I don't have to wait until college. I don't have to wait until after college to start doing it. If she's starting it at her age, I can do it too. So I had this idea about having my own business since I was 15 or 16 years old. I was like, why not? Starting now. So yeah, Kylie Jenner. Next question. Did you ever doubt your business? Like, did you ever feel like it wouldn't succeed or you would fail or would never reach your goal? Like, did you feel that at some point in time? The people want to know. Don't y'all? Sasha, 
I'm really trying to be professional right now, but you're doing a bit too much. You're doing a bit too much, okay? First of all, are you even looking at the camera? Like, the audience is here. Not here, okay? Okay, they don't need to be seeing your long sideburns. Sideburns? Girl, I look just like you. Sideburns where? Sideburns where? Okay. Girl, you on strike two. You on strike two. Just answer the question. We only got a few more to go. We got a few more to go. Look, I can't even talk right because you making me mad. Me Got me taking off my Miami shades. Like, who does she think she is? Mm. I am parched. But anyways, did I ever doubt my business? Mm. I might have doubted it like before I started. I was probably like, dang, I don't even, I don't have clout like that. And people always go off clout to support people. So I was like, dang, are people even going to support me? But when I started my business, like after I actually launched, <laughs> no, I don't doubt it. Because I knew for a fact, like if I ever gave up on my business, it will always be in the back of my mind of, what could have been and two god did not put this idea in my head if he didn't want me to do something with it like why would he put it there and then just have it sit there obviously he gave me this vision see what i did there obviously he gave me this vision because he knew it was going to be a success story so i already know it's going to be successful when that will be i don't know but i can already see it coming like the way that my business has been doing well I'm actually surprised myself like I knew it was gonna do well but I didn't know it was gonna do well like at this pace or at this time so I'm really happy with how my business is going and I already know it's gonna be a banger okay I'm going to be up there regardless by all means necessary I'm gonna get to it and I'm gonna make my dreams come true I don't care what anybody else has to say okay so that's that on that okay Okay, I like that. I like that. You're very well spoken. But next question is, did you need money to start? You know, a lot of people feel as though you need millions of dollars to start a business. So the people want to know, do you need money to start your own business? What do you got to say, boo? By the way, girl, I'm loving your luxury frames. Like, can I try them on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, how they look on me? They look good. They look good, don't they? Oh, girl, you like those frames? You know we got them in blue. We got them in blue. Girl, let me, look. We got them in blue. These are the Dubai frames. Like, they just look, bruh, you see that? You see that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, honey. Yes, honey. We got all the shades for you. We got all the shades for you. But anyways, go ahead and answer the question. The question was, did you need did you need money to start your business? Sorry. Oh yes, girl. The blue ones are cute. Let me wear those. Oh, thanks. Mm. But yeah, did you need money to start your business? Yes and no. People always think like you need millions of dollars to start your business, but in reality, you don't really need any money. Like, you don't really need money like that. Like, I started my business, no job. <laughs> the only reason I got a job is just so I can get things faster and get more of things. Because, you know, if you do got money, then you can, like, do a bit more with your business, make it more unique. So, no, you don't really need money. I think I spent, like, two to three hundred dollars on my business nothing more than 400 it was literally 200 to 300 dollars but it also depends on what you're selling like if you're selling hair sis i don't know what to tell you but you're gonna need a couple hundred to sell hair if you're selling like lip glosses like how i'm about to start selling lip glosses um to be honest I don't even think I spent up to a hundred dollar on hundred dollars on lip glosses. Like lip glosses, I feel like if you're making them yourself, you don't spend as you don't need to spend as 
much money like less than 200 you're straight i know i didn't spend up to 100 maybe i spent like 150 but definitely nothing more than that so it all depends on what you're selling but you don't necessarily need a lot of money if you have 50 dollars you can start your business with fifty dollars if you're only selling one pair of shades at the time that's cool but you started your business so whatever you guys have use what you have and start okay you don't need to wait but some people do wait because they want their start to be like a good start or they want certain things for their launch but if you only got twenty dollars go ahead you're going to use that $20 to the best of your ability. Because if you're only selling one shade of... If you're only selling, like, plain lip gloss, and you only got three tubes, and you sell those tubes for $8, you just made $24 right there. Add that to your 20 Now you got 44 Okay? So make it do what it do. I like that. Y'all heard that? Y'all don't need money to start. Y'all don't need money to start. You need a little bit, but you don't need a lot. I'm pretty sure you can even start with $0, but... I like that. I like that. Next question. How did you come up with your name vision? How did you come up with that? All right. The way that I came up with my name vision, first of all, it's actually pronounced vision. Okay. That name is Albanian for the word vision. Now, some people might think that I chose the name vision because I was selling eyewear and, you know, like seeing and glasses go hand in hand. But that's definitely not why I chose the name. Because if you don't, you guys don't know, I will do a whole video on like how I ended up selling glasses, like the whole start of my business. But when I first launched when I first had the idea to have my own business at like 15 or 16 years old, I wanted to sell lip glosses first. So I already came up with the name Vision before I even had that. But the way that I came up with Vision is because my one friend Jason, at the time I had changed my name to, um, oh, it was called That Apparel. Because after lip glosses wasn't working out, y'all wouldn't hear about that in the little story time that I have or next video that I do about that. Um, it was called that apparel and I was gonna sell clothing because I always wanted to be like a fashion designer and everything like that But I can't draw so I just thought it would be difficult to have the ideas and styles of how I want clothes to be in my head to translate to paper if I can't physically draw out my own ideas So at the time it was called that apparel and I was with my friend Jason shout out to you We were talking about it and I was like, oh, what do you think of the name? and my the way I, I was thinking about that apparel was like, oh that apparel like oh that's really that like that's it that's the thing so that's why I, that's why i came up with the name that apparel so anytime you see like that apparel clothing you'll be like oh yeah that's it like that's the new thing that you have to get because it has like you get it i hope it makes sense but yeah and he was like um it's okay but like it could be better he was like a lot of people like things that are foreign so i asked everybody else at the table or he asked everybody else at the table and was like what do you guys think about the name that, that apparel do you like it and some people were like yes yeah, cool and some people were like no and then some people were like eh and you know me i can take criticism but i don't physically like hearing it because it's low-key like rejection and i don't like rejection okay even though i've never been rejected but that's besides the point so he was like, yeah, you should think of something that's foreign. So when I thought about it, I was like, okay, vision. The reason why I chose vision is because I always write in the top part of the thank you cards about following your dreams, that no one can really see the plan that you have for yourself except for you. So you already know what you want and you already can picture how it's going to go in your head and no one else can see that. That's why I named my company Vision. If I have, I'll probably insert a picture of like the whole meaning of what my company means. But yeah, that's how I chose vision. And I was like, okay, he said foreign. So let me look up vision other languages. So I was going, some of them are the same. Like they spell vision with the Z instead of an S. But I just like the Albanian one. So my company is called Vision. And yeah, that's how I came up with the name. Gang, gang, gang. I like that. That's very interesting. Like, you're right. No one can see the plans that you have for yourself besides you. There's no way that you can explain it to somebody else because they're not going to see what's in your head. You get it? So I totally understand that. 
So last question for today for this series. Don't know what it's gonna be called yet with your girl Sasha. Okay. Is how did you make your logo? You know, when you start a company and everything like that, your logo is your brand. They see that, they see you. So how did you like come up with the colors and the idea and like overall how did you make your logo all right the way that I made my logo is okay my logo is vision y'all know it the black and white I'm gonna insert it right here I don't really use it a lot on things but it's the profile picture on my business page y'all should go follow it'll be right here you go to insert that right there yeah okay so yeah, um, I don't know what the software is called. It's my brother's. I made it on the computer. But if you guys have paid attention to my Instagram page, you also know that I dropped three other logos. So now Vision, the black and white one, is the overall logo. That is the logo for my company. You see that, you see me. Now I made three other logos, Vision Accessories, Vision Cosmetics, and I just decided to make one for eyewear just so each branch under my Vision company has their own logo. So how I made the Vision Cosmetics logo, eyewear logo, and accessories logo is that I used Canva. Simple. Canva, you can make simple logos. You can even do extraordinary logos on there. Like I told you guys in one of my other videos that if you can make something or do something yourself, do it yourself instead of paying somebody else to do it. Now, I will be making a video step by step on how to make a logo using Canva. So, I'll talk more about that in that video. But that's literally how I made my logo. So, yeah, I appreciate Sasha finally coming in to do the video. I appreciate it, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. More interviews to come. If you guys like this video and you want Sasha to return, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your homies, turn on your post notifications, okay? Click the link in the description box down below. Follow me on Instagram, shout with me on Vision. As you, can, as you guys saw in this video, Sasha has all the shades. She didn't show y'all all of them, but she showed y'all enough, okay? And, um... Yeah, is there anything else I wanted to say? Mm. Comment down some questions down below for part two, part three, and so on. I will be answering your questions like that, all right? And I'll catch y'all in the next video. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it.